Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anetta, I am photographer and graphic designer working and living in Melbourne, Australia. Welcome very back after a while of not posting. One of my photographer friends, his name is Jasper Hedder. I'd like to call him more like a photographer guide. Like I look up to him. I guess he could be my friend. I could call him like that, but I feel like he is above me. He's like a photo role model. Yeah, and he gave me a Wacom tablet because he's been trying to convince me to get one for the last two years, I think. And he finally gave me one to try out out and I did not hate working with a trackpad. I was used to it and I wouldn't say that having a vacuum tablet is any better but I think what I learned using this is that a lot of my design and work is very messy and grungy. It does not have a lot of detail because I haven't realized how hard it is to create details using trackpad in comparison to a tablet. Now when I was editing those last pictures from one of the shoots that I did, the first half I was working on a trackpad the other half I was working on Vacom just to try it out and and I think that what he personally inspired me to do or slash learn pay attention to the detail because he likes things to be very perfect and I am the opposite of that but he gave me a tool and so I found myself taking a lot of attention for the details before that I would be using adjustment layers like threshold curves and like selective color way more for the purpose of fucking the picture up I kind of try to find balance and still keep the picture like funky but not go overboard it's been really fun to experiment with that and change things up because i think i was getting sick of my own style i had a hard time creating the work that people are were expecting from me and i still have a couple of clients that you know i messaged them that i'm not capable of like editing at the moment because i needed to re build myself, we collect myself. My anxiety and like inability to do so came from burnout from what I've been doing constantly and having a tool, a new tool to play with and exploring new ideas and I was like also watching some Photoshop tutorials and Jesper gave me some tips on editing and these things change so much and I personally really value having kind of a mentor in real life that can teach you things and I'm really bad learner because I really dislike when people tell me things but I think he's been the only one that I actually trust because his works speak for him so I kind of value his opinion and suggestions. I'll be trying to use this today. I want to show you how to edit this kind of design. I really like it so you can subscribe to me like this video before we start, it really helps my channel grow and be found by more people. Let's pick the image, let's go to our Unsplash. This looks pretty good to me, it has different poses even. I love the shoots that are on Unsplash and there are multiple pictures from the shoot because it gives you things to work with if you want to use not a single picture. Always wait on Unsplash for a picture to load because sometimes it's way smaller and it's not full resolution. If you go to the edit and keyboard shortcuts you can make your own keyboard shortcuts and I made making to a smart object to command E. Perfect, works for me. We can select some funky gradient. Look, I'm literally using trackpad when I have the tablet because I'm so used to it and it's easy. You can select very funky colors if you want to. I really like overexposed highlights. These look pretty cool. Then I'm gonna add a solid color, which is gray, 21-ish, about right, doesn't matter. Command E, overlay, filter, noise, add noise. 12 will be good, and then blur, motion blur, 0.7, should be right. Creates kind of a 
grain that is imperfect. I'll also add color halftone, six will do. Nope. If you double click on it, you can change it for the minimum that you can add. I like that. I don't like the color. So if you go to the very right, you can change this to luminosity. It changes to black and white and opacity to like just a little bit so you could barely see it then it's not as annoying right kind of can't see it but it's the detail that matters then i command clicked on the mouse so it would select the selection and then i go to stroke black a little bit too much stroke maybe like five drag it down and let's move the stroke <laughs> have these things and I need to get rid of those. I'll link those together. Then you can also change the background really. You would select these and make them in a group and put the gradient on the group and then change solid color. You could change that. I personally liked the way white looked just because it matched with her arm and then those highlights the other thing is we're gonna put a border on and you can do that by creating your guide layout for like the margin like 50 uh, 180 80 cool then select the whole document and minus out selection of that selection and then you go fill black perfect you can go make it a smart object and put a blur why is this so weird what I wanted to add was in the gradient I want to create these little stars like this. Because I'm using black and white, I can make them multiply or darken, either or. Then if I put new layer and clip mask it on top, I can add some new ones and put it also on darken. So now I'm just gonna do this, make like five, darken all of them, clip them, and just play around with these. I kind of like it how it stretches, you can also move them easily if you select snap, it's not going to snap to anything. Just don't forget to change the layers. Go to levels. If we move the first levels, I like that. I like that. Whoa, changed everything. Ah, true, it was green. So if we move the levels, like the first ones above all the original layers and the left one is the shadows and if you move the shadows and midtones together to go to the darker, they'll make these very nice sparkly sparkles. It even looks pretty cool without the gradient. Contemplating maybe I don't want a gradient here. Hmm, not sure. On the this one, this one is the frame layer, which you made a smart object. You can add little things. I'm not really sure about the gradient, if I even need it. Look, you can... gradients do... I wonder. That's the same. It looks pretty, like, girly, magical. I don't know, I think there is a word Y to Y or something like that. I don't know what that even means, but oh, what is it? The other one, core, fairy core, something like that. When it's like kind of gothic, but kind of fairy and magical colors like that. This one is pretty cool. I don't think I'm gonna use a gradient to be honest. I think I'm just gonna play around with selective color. I really like how the levels adjusted my sparkles because they created the gradient. I had a two dots and a couple of beers a couple of weeks ago and I haven't been smoking since beginning of May I think I haven't really been craving it either it's only me and my partner living together so he doesn't like we both quit smoking and like I don't have any temptations in the house so it's kind of easy but I met my friend Aquila and she's a smoker and she was smoking and I was like yeah fuck it let's do this life's hard here in Melbourne and I am kind of like I miss smoking I don't know if you like quit smoking and you don't miss it good on you I don't get it how that's possible because smoking is so enjoyable I don't like it for a long time I get sick of cigarettes if I start smoking and I smoke for like three or four months I'm like uh, why am I doing this way but at the moment I would not mind a cigarette so what am I doing everywhere? Oh, that's the endurance iterations is always the best part. 
Hmm, I like the blues and greens. I think I'm gonna add another layer of levels. You know, you just stack. You can fade it out a little bit so it looks more like kind of paper printed. <sighs> This is what we're missing. I'm like, there's something else that you can do. I'll just duplicate it. Merge group. Mm -hmm. I merge these, right? Then I select them. Whoa, what did I do? Oh my god. What have I done? Small thumbnails. Oh, thank god. That was stressful for a second. I need to select a stroke. No, maybe and like free just a tiny bit and then we blur it as well no i prefer it without it that was nice i like this i think this might be it yeah that's all i made this and it's amazing i'm happy with the setting i wasn't expecting it to turn out that great but i love it you can definitely play around with gradients and it's fun to actually sometimes move the layers up and down swap them spots because they affect each other differently so it's fun to see how they do that that's it for today yeah i value your time that you spend watching my tutorials and hanging out with me that's all Bye.